Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Gamma Diagramma. So in this video now, we'll be deriving a, a nice formula for the exponential integral function. And in in case you don't know what that is, don't worry. I'm gonna do a nice introductory set part for that, just for you. So let's get started. Okay, so the the subject of introduction is the exponential integral function. And the, the, the real way that it's defined is EI of say some argument G defined as integral from G to infinity of e to the negative t over t dt and to be honest uh, nothing can be done with this integral so in case you're wondering if it has an ant elementary antiderivative it doesn't i mean even if you use like say taylor series for the exponential you're still going to get an infinite series which you can't find a closed form for and in any case z is not zero otherwise you know, we could have tried some Laplace transform tricks. So the applications of this are in physics and engineering. So it's, it's a well known function. I mean, Ramanujan himself, among others, were uh, working, uh, doing research heavily in this area, and some other functions, special functions like these non elementary functions. Okay, so enough with the introduction. Let's start with deriving a formula. So with this original guy, I'm going to subtract and add one divided by T dt. And now I'm going to split this integral from Z to infinity e to the negative T minus one over T dt. Adding a one here, not subtracting two times plus integral from Z to infinity of dt over T. And now this, I can split with dignity as integral from zero to infinity e to the negative t minus one over t dt minus integral from zero to z e to the negative t minus one over t dt plus integral from z to infinity of dt over t. So, you know, this was assuming uh, z is some positive number. So z to infinity is say this patch I'm saying take this guy zero. So what you do is you take this entire length and subtract the zero to Z part and you'll get Z to infinity. That's basic linearity going on here. Okay. So take this guy as it is minus, well, this guy, for now we can call i1 plus antiderivative is natural log of t evaluated from z to infinity fair enough now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use in, uh, integration by parts 1 over t is the function we will integrate so we get natural log of t and keeping the second function as it is evaluated from 0 to infinity minus integral from zero to infinity. When I differentiate this inner guy, I get uh, e to the negative t with a negative, it will make a positive times natural log of t dt minus i1. And then for this guy, we have limit as t goes to infinity of natural log of t minus natural log of z. So uh, for the infinity case, e to the negative infinity will be zero. Minus one is negative one. So we have minus limit as t goes to infinity of natural log of t. Okay, and we have a negative 
limit as t goes to zero natural log of t e to the negative t minus one fair enough and we have this other guy integral from zero to infinity e to the negative t natural log of t dt uh, minus i one plus limit as t goes to infinity natural log of t minus natural log of z so notice this divergence is cancelling out with this so it's like this infinity natural log of infinity is cancelling out with this guy and this can be evaluated so if limit as t goes to zero natural log of t we will have e to the negative t minus one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide by negative t and also multiply by negative t and then i can split this up so this cancels out with this i have limit as goes to zero of e to the negative t minus one divided by negative t multiplied with limit as t goes to zero t times natural log of t and there are all these other things as well so i believe this guy seems familiar it's uh gamma prime of 1 so the derivative of gamma evaluated at 1 which is also equal to the di gamma of 1 i have made a video on that which is negative euler mascheroni constant and we still have a negative i1 and a natural log of z waiting like that okay so there was a limit property that say uh, exponential to the limiting variable minus 1 I'll, i'll write it here limit as h goes to 0 a to the h minus 1 over h was natural log of a here that a is e so we have natural log of e which is 1 so this guy will go to 1 we have limit as t goes to 0 Natural log of t divided by one over t minus Euler mascheroni minus i one minus natural log of z. Too many negatives, but it's twenty twenty, so <laughs> to deal with it. Now notice we have an infinity over infinity situation because natural log of zero is infinity as well, negative infinity, but still infinity. So it's time to use L'Hopital's rule, and we get limit as t goes to zero, one over t divided by negative one over t squared minus Euler mascheroni minus i one minus natural log of z. So this guy will be t evaluated limit as t goes to zero, which will be zero. So we just have minus Euler mascheroni minus i one minus natural log of z. So plugging in i one, what was i one? What the hell was i one? Yeah, it's over here. Integral from zero to z of uh, e to the negative t minus one over t dt minus natural log of z. Okay, so now at this point, what we can actually do is uh, write the Taylor series for e to the x, which is Sum from say n equals zero to infinity of x to the n over n factorial, and e to the negative x is sum from n equals zero to infinity of minus one to the n x to the n over n factorial. Okay, so this is the Taylor series for e to the negative x, and we have e to the negative t. So I mean, if you want to change this x to a t, it's fine. Really, it's fine. It's just a variable. Okay, and you're subtracting a one, which means you're taking out a one from this series, which means you're taking out this first number, which means the series is like the rest of this guy. So e to the negative t minus one is actually sum from n equals one to infinity of minus one to the n. Uh, t to the n. Over n factorial because we lost the zero term which was one. 
Okay, so plugging all that information in with minus Euler Mascheroni minus integral from zero to the sum from n equals one to infinity minus one to the n t to the n over t this t times this n factorial dt minus natural log of z minus all your mask green minus now assuming uniform and absolute convergence interchange these guys sum from n equals 1 to infinity integral from 0 to z we can take the n factorial outside we have a uh, even minus 1 to the n actually can be taken outside we have t to the n minus 1 dt minus natural log of z so we have minus Euler Mascheroni minus sum from n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n over n times n factorial right because the power will come down t to the n evaluated from 0 to z minus natural log of z so we have minus Euler Mascheroni minus sum from n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n z to the n divided by n times n factorial minus natural log of z that's because at 0 0 to the any power is going to be 0 and what was all this equal to the exponential integral function taking input z so it's, it's a really really remarkable formula it's going to be really helpful in, a, in, the, in the future question in the future videos future questions that we do now uh, this formula is useful I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration why that that's the case that's because if you want to calculate integral from say 1 to 2 of the exponential integral function of z divided by z dz you would have to expand stuff using this formula so you know when we do that we have uh, integral from say 1 to 2 negative Euler Mascheroni divided by z dz minus I interchange the sum and the integral n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over n times n factorial integral from say 1 to 2 z to the n over z dz minus integral from 1 to 2 natural log of z over z dz so when I evaluate this we have negative Euler Mascheroni natural log of z evaluated from 1 to 2 minus sum from n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n we'll have z to the n minus 1 so n squared n factorial z to the n evaluated from 1 to 2 minus half natural log squared of z evaluated from 1 to 2 you can do u substitution if you don't believe me in this so if I finally get minus Euler Mascheroni natural log of 2 natural log of 1 is 0 minus sum from n equals 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n 2 to the n divided by n squared n factorial plus sum from n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n divided by n squared n factorial minus half natural log squared of 2 fair enough that you know that actually doesn't doesn't look that bad and you know this can be approximated in this form compared to in this form this form it just seems atrocious it just seems impossible but at least although this Taylor series is not particularly converging fast but still running any software like MATLAB or Python we can actually get a pretty good approximation of what this integral might just numerically be 
सो आई होप यू रियली एन्जॉय दिस वीडियो गाइज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल रेकमेंड मीट योर फ्रेंड्स स्प्रेड वर्ड ऑफ गैम आटा गैम इन द मैथ कम्युनिटी एंड इन द मीन टाइम स्टे होम स्टे सेफ कीप डूइंग मैथ स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर कंटेंट एंड पीस आउट साइनिंग ऑफ